everybody remembers the move that GameStop stock made a couple years back. You have to believe me when I say this. Technical analysis will help you make a lot of money. Also, will help you not lose a lot of money. So just real quick, bear with me here. When I trade life, all I look for is this sort of pattern that GameStop is making right now. So right now I can't find any news for this stock. I don't know why GameStop is, is flying up. They're saying there's no apparent news, uh, but maybe I'm missing something. This is happening, this just happened a couple minutes ago, so I wanted to pump out this video really fast and show you that back in the January 2021, this stock, I'm gonna draw this really fast, okay? It, it had this like move here, and you might think, oh, that's hindsight, dead inside. You, you're just cherry picking here. No, I'm not. It had a really big explosive move, okay? Showing a lot of excitement. And then it, it broke out, right? This thing flew 57% in one day. Now, let's not even worry about this move. Look, it built a flag. Then it had another move to the upside. This is how I've made millions of dollars and several other traders have, have done well for themselves by trading these sort of breakout patterns. Now, I understand this is not the same period, so I would not be surprised if GameStop reverses. But however, just, just remember this, okay? Just just look at this little uh, triangle, okay? And then let's look at look at this little, uh, triangle here. Bam, broke out, right? This is everything that stocks were doing during the pandemic. So you see these little triangles here? Boing, triangle, triangle. Well, check this out. Another one, right? Boom. Look at this. You guys see anything here? GameStop did it again. I'm just drawing this really fast. I was watching this and I was debating whether or not to get in this. Uh, I believe I got an alert and GameStop was just going higher. I thought it was going to come down lower. Find resistance here and hey, maybe it'll go higher tomorrow. Maybe it'll break out next week. Nope. This thing broke out just now today. You saw what it did a couple years back. I don't think we're in the same environment, but you always want to be prepared for moves like this. Now, if I were to get into a stock like GameStop a couple hours ago, as soon as it broke out, I would maybe set my stop loss at the bottom of this candle here. So that's 2.7%. So I'd get into GameStop here. I, as soon as it breaks above it, maybe I'll, I'll try to get in really fast and set my stop loss under this level here. So it reverses, hey, I'm stopped out. If not, maybe it's going to go a lot higher. And I'll hold it. As a swing trader, I want to hold this for as long as possible. And if you go to deadinside.com, I teach you exactly, for beginners, how I uh, swing trade stocks and what gives me the confidence to trade live. GameStop has a lot of, there's a lot of resistance up here, okay? I, I don't want to go too much into the details here, but just be careful, okay? This can reverse. There's been a lot of uh, failed breakout attempts in the past, but this is a lot of volume. You, that's how you make money in stocks. You follow the money coming in. There's a lot of money coming into this stock. This could have a big move up, maybe consolidate, break out again, like that example I just showed you. Now, what I bought today was ticker symbol P-A-A-S, Papa Alpha Alpha Sierra, Pan America Silver. Silver. A lot of silver names are looking good. I, I bought this right at the beginning of the first five minute candle. And then I, I bought some more here live and it did really well. And I'm gonna hold this for as long as possible. I think that this can make a move higher. This is what swing traders like myself like to do is where we'll try to catch a move like CEG. This is a stock that I actually sold prematurely. Sold it around here. I, I was like, ah, how much higher is this gonna go? It had a breakout. Okay, look at this breakout, boom. And then uh, I made over 20% on this. Again, another stock that I told the members about on deadinside.com. And you just never know how, how high some of these stocks are gonna go. Now. Look at Root. This stock had a breakout, right? It was $13 a share. Let's, and I'm saying if you bought it at the end of this day, look at this move. It had a breakout, right? And then look how much higher this went. This flew. This went from 12 to, or we'll say 13 to 85 bucks. And the way I would sell is once it goes near these moving averages, I'll, I'll sell in portions. And if you go to deadinside.com, I have the introduction to swing trading. It's a development series that I worked on. It teaches you exactly how I get out of these trades. It's for complete beginners though. So you might be annoyed because I'm going over what a moving average is, what a stop loss is, how stocks move, but I'm going over my exact strategy. But that is what I'm trying to experience. And with GameStop, hey, you might get that. When I get into a stock, I want to set my stop loss at the lows of the day. Now this is already up too high. This is up 13% GameStop. So I don't know how much higher it's going to go, but guys, I did a video about, I do several videos on a lot of stocks. And let's say I'm right 20% of the time. When you know how to let your winners ride, they can do very well. Now, this wasn't my setup. I didn't trade this, but I was telling you guys about 
the Roombas, ticker symbol IRBT. And I did a video about this. I said uh, stocks that could bounce soon. And every single stock in that video, I believe, bounced. Uh, one of them was iRobot. I mean, look at the moves that these can make. This was bouncing off 2009 lows. It's now up 64%. So if we just look at the three-month chart, see, back in uh, 2009, it came down to this level. Came here, went a little bit lower. Went a little bit lower, but if it went back above it, you could get back in. And yeah, it, it, this thing launched. Another one was Rocket Lab. Rocket Lab is doing really well. Bounced right off all-time lows. Is now up. 23%, you can see on the three-month chart, boing, boing, boing. Technical analysis pays. You just gotta know how to lose money. And you can be wrong way more than you're right and still make way more than you lose when you know how to set your stop losses accordingly. Another one was Leslie's. That was another stock that did well. But as far as GameStop goes and any of these stocks, just know that retail sort of story stocks can just explode. Not financial advice, but I'm not worried about the financials. I'm not worried about the the addressable market, whatever it might be. And that's what's made me millions of dollars. And the reason why I say that kind of with a little bit of anger is because the people who were saying, uh, oh, uh, the financials matter, you got to look at Carvana for one. I mean, like look at the move that this stock has made from from bankruptcy rumors. This went from... Two dollars, four dollars to now, a hundred and twenty bucks. That's unbelievable, right? A penny stock to a hundred and twenty bucks. Now, I would never capture a move like this because I sell before the earnings reports always. I mean, this this was a stock that actually I really wanted to hold into earnings, and it dropped nine uh, percent. Look at Roblox. This thing tanked negative twenty two percent. You can't. I can't hold these through an earnings report. It just breaks my rules. And again, in my development series, I go over all my rules, what it takes for me to want to buy a stock, what it takes for me to want to sell a stock, but it doesn't matter. I can still capture these 50%, 100% moves by knowing how to find stocks like uh, ticker symbol PAAS. I'm, I'm hoping that this does well. A lot of silver names are are looking good. And you know, right here, this is what I saw. I saw the uh, hourly chart. You'll see a pattern. It looks something like this. And I was, I was watching it very carefully. Uh, as soon as it got above this level after they reported earnings, bam, I got into it and didn't get into it as soon as I would like to. Was still risking about 2%, I believe. But yeah, this this thing flew all day. And just remember this video. Let's see if ticker symbol PAAS will have a complete reversal and I'll lose negative 2%. That's where my stop loss is. Or let's see if it has a move like another stock that we traded live, uh, STLD, very slow, but occasionally I like to do options. They can do well. STLD, boom, breakout. One, two, three, four. I had a really nice move, but this is a very slow name. I don't really care about slow moving names like this. That's why I'll try to get into options, but options are very, very uh, risky. Also, Wells Fargo, this one is setting up. Again, very slow, but if you want to play options and you're bullish on banks, this might do well. But my style is to trade stocks that can potentially get us the most money. That's all I know. That's my bread and butter are setups like PAAS and even GameStop. GameStop looks really good. I kind of missed it. I didn't think it was going to just launch like that. I thought it was going to consolidate. But at the very least, put these stocks on your watch list, not financial advice. If you want to do a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me and learn how I trade, check out deadinside.com. Also, the development series is available there. And if you want to watch me trade live Monday through Friday, I always let everyone know how much I'm risking whenever I'm wrong, stocks that do well, how I'm scaling out. I let, I'm let i trying to be as transparent as possible. If you want to watch me trade live, check out deadinside.com. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Peace.